Today you are in for a treat. If you're doing the CNO Canal towpath, we have rented Swain's Lockhouse Lock 21. I can't wait to take you inside. It is so cool. We opted to stay at the Lock House on our last night of our journey from Cumberland, Maryland to Georgetown on the CNO Canal. The trail is very beautiful. We opted to camp all of the other nights. So this was a welcome retreat once we got to it. You forget what a luxury running water is until you'd have to pump it for every meal and every shower. So if you are renting this from the Canal Trust, the first thing you have to do is open up, put in the key code that they give you, unlock the door, and head on in. They have redone this to the time period of 1916, I believe. The first room we've come into. It all has mini split air conditioning heating units. They've done a neat job with all the paintings and even little boxes that open and tell you a little bit about the history. In each of the rooms, they have different boxes to tell you interesting facts. They also have a hole so you can see what the walls would have been like finished. But now they are very nice. All the modern amenities, fire alarms, exterior lights, interior lights. Just off that room, there's a small hallway with a Murphy bed. And again, they tell you how to operate the Murphy bed. And then tell you a little bit about the history of the Murphy bed. It works very easy. You just pull this handle. You'll find little feet on each end. And then just let gravity do the rest. So this place will sleep six people and turn into the modern accessible bathroom has a shower wind seat nicest thing is they have a picture of me And then again, give you a little bit of history. I love these little boxes. So in the kitchen, there is an old stove. They have turned it into an electric one. They have mixing bowls, it's like an induction, an induction. Oh wow, yeah, that's neat. They have hidden the refrigerator. They do have assorted pots and pans, rolling pins, everything that you would need to make a meal today or in 1916. There is an electric kettle as well as a traditional one. Lots of implements for cooking. 
Again, another hidden box. Let's see what bit of history it tells. A woman's work. Again, after long days on the road biking, it's going to be nice to have a full kitchen, running water, places to dry our dishes and cook a nice meal. One of the cool things we just figured out was that this is not an old wood burning fireplace. It's actually a modern, beautiful oven and they've done a great job hiding all the modern electronics. This is Elmira Stove Works. We'll continue out of the kitchen. There is a small pantry. With things to do some tidying and cleaning before you leave. As promised, we're going to head up the stairs and see the bedrooms. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. Be on the lookout for more videos of our journey down the CNO Canal. first bedroom we're going to go is on the left hand side at the top of the stairs. You do have to duck your head a little bit as you come in but there is a nice size bed. Again mini splits and if you don't feel like going downstairs you can wash up here. Now you can see why I said you had to duck as you are coming into the room. They've got another picture of me. In the center up here is a nice place to sit and hang out and talk about your ride. But again, note that you do not have to be on the canal path riding, I believe you can rent this out. There is a parking lot out back. And we will continue into the next bedroom, ducking our head. And this one has space for four people to sleep. Two there. The lower level will come out, it rolls out. with a view of the CNO towpath. We really enjoyed reading about the house's history. Outside of Swain's lock house, you do have a picnic table fire pit, and access to wood. Swain's Lock House turned out to be one of the highlights of our trip. If you do come here, there is shopping about two and a half miles away, where you'll find grocery stores and restaurants.